a warming climate with more frequent drought are leading to reduced stream flows and warmer water temperatures on our Bay Area waterways, which means fish in the region that used to call this area home could be disappearing for good. Climate change has really thrown a significant new challenge to all of us who work on those issues. And just like it's threatening home for all of us, it's also threatening home for the animal and plant life that we depend on to survive. It's literally life and death that we're seeing out here. We're seeing these reduced water flows over longer periods of time. What kind of damage does that do to these species that used to thrive uh, very well before our climate started shifting warmer and drier? During our last big drought from 2012 to 2016, about 18 native fish species were put on the edge of extinction. What we need to do if we want to provide enough space for our salmon and steelhead and other native species to survive is get rid of a lot of barriers that we've built, a lot of defunct dams we have in California. We have over 1,400 dams in California. Many of them don't serve any useful purpose anymore and are just old and um, non-functional. Stanford last year removed one of those old 120 year old dams that was no longer serving any useful purpose, Lagunita Diversion Dam. And that has opened up a lot of habitat for struggling steelhead who used to really thrive in that system, but were blocked completely by that dam. It's a start of many different habitat improvement dam removal projects that we need to take around the state in order to allow these species to come back and you know what a great opportunity for all of us in the community to be able to once again see these amazing fish that swim migrate long ways from their upstream habitat into the ocean and back the good news is that a lot of people are recognizing that and we do have solutions to make our water systems more resilient and to make our stream systems more resilient. We just need to get moving on them. <laughs>